everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to evaluate limits using the method of direct substitution. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this first example here, we have the limit as x approaches 3 of the function 7 minus 2x. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this 3, and we're going to plug it in for x in our function here. And so doing that, we have 7 minus 2 times 3. And so this is equal to 7 minus 6, which is equal to 1. And now let's go ahead and take a look at this next example here. So we have the limit as x approaches negative 2 of the function x squared plus 1 over 5 minus 2x. So let's go ahead and take this negative 2 here and plug it in for x here and here. So doing that, we have negative 2 squared plus 1 over 5 minus 2 times negative 2. And now let's go ahead and simplify this. So we have negative 2 squared, which is equal to 4, and plus 1 over 5. And here we have a minus 2 times a negative 2, which is equal to a positive 4. And so we have 5 over 9. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this last example here. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the function the square root of x squared plus 5 over 2 minus x. So let's go ahead and take this 0 here and plug it in for x here and here. And so doing that, we have the square root of 0 squared plus 5 over 2 minus 0. And so this just cancels out. 0 squared is equal to 0, and this 0 just cancels out as well. And so we have the square root of 5 over 2. And this is our final answer. And so that is how you evaluate limits using the method of direct substitution. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.